I'm Ali Sapti. I'm the founder and CEO of Auto. Auto is a smart outdoor device that waters with precision and puts down natural solutions that save customers time and money. Auto started out of my own problem with yard care. I was doing a lot of traveling, a very busy professional, and I needed something that was convenient, easy to set up, and did not use any of the harmful chemicals that you normally see because I had children and, and pets and didn't want that stuff around them. So I built Auto initially for myself, uh, then my neighbors, and now for tens of thousands of customers across the US and Canada. Auto is an electromechanical device that's got a lot of mechanical, electrical, software built into it. So it was really important to have a tool to be able to prototype very quickly to make sure that we have our fluid dynamics figured out, our optimization for energy usage. And one of the primary tools we use was SolidWorks, being able to run those simulations for fluids, for finite element analysis, but then also using some of the other features like model-based definitions to be able to send those drawings over to suppliers and other folks we were working with to have sort of a one source of truth and to find everything that they need to make the appropriate parts right onto that model itself. We launched in March of 2020, so early on we needed a platform not only for CAD but for software for us to communicate that enabled us to, to be able to do all of this remotely and when it came to CAD, because we were prototyping so quickly, it was important to have cloud-based files that we could access from anywhere in the world and see what is the latest and greatest and how far we've pushed the product. So we were evaluating a lot of different uh, softwares early on when I was starting Auto. I was a SolidWorks user myself before that, uh, but it was quite cost prohibitive. And it was during that some of the conversations where they informed us about the entrepreneurship program where we're able to get the support and the tools that we need at, at reduced cost. And that's when we were introduced to it and we've been customers since then. So our team's about 17 uh, full-time, uh, about 14, 15 of them are, are engineers. There's a lot of engineering, and this really stems from the fact that we believe if you solve a major problem and build an incredible product, then you'll have a, a lot easier time marketing it and a lot easier time selling it. And that's why we really focus on the innovation and on the product development side of auto. It's really easy to onboard new employees into SolidWorks. It's pretty much the, the standard. A lot of our fresh graduates know it. A lot of the co-op students that we hire know it. But there's also a lot of collaboration features that are loaded in now. You know, one of them being able to access your files uh, from the cloud on any old hardware that you have. It runs a lot more efficiently now than when I used it when I was a student, particularly a startup in the, in the hardware space. It's very, very costly, very capital intensive. So you should do everything you can to reduce that, especially early development costs, because those are costly mistakes. And one great way to do that is to build that digital twin, is to prototype and then validate with some prototypes. So it really helped us get to market faster and save a lot of that initial capital that, that we raised to get auto off the ground. Initially, you have speed to market, but once once you're in the market, um, it's not enough for you to, to be first to market. You need to be the best, and that comes through iterations. It comes through, one, making sure you have really robust quality and reliability processes in place, and a lot of the kind of the features or the tools that you would use to help you with that are you know, around documentation control, making sure that you're referring to the latest sort of drawings or the latest part number and the ability to communicate that to the supplier quite rapidly and, and easily. So I think now that we're getting into a lot of the a lot of the details in the development, we're still seeing the benefit, um, resolving issues, looking at alternative suppliers, looking at some of the feature changes to allow the product to operate in a in a more severe environment or under more severe uh, conditions. 20 years ago, and without the help of something like SolidWorks or the 3D Experience platform, it would be nearly impossible to put something together like Auto in the short amount of time and in the team size and the capital we had to do so. And I think a lot of people are like that. They wanna enjoy the outdoor space. They're okay with doing a little bit of work here and there, but they're not okay with going through the learning curve of figuring out what they need to do and then having to go out there on a consistent basis to do it. And that's where auto really comes in. It, is, it gets you involved, it gets you the results in a, in a, and it gets you involved in a, in a small matter just to set it up and then load the different solutions. And, and then we take care of the rest. You just enjoy your outdoor space.